big rock right here. My underhook? Yeah, it, it's prevent your tire from going back. There you go. It, I mean, you're going to have to really pop it to get over it. There we go. Tool of that. There you go. There you go. There you go. Kawasaki. That was weird. The front dip wasn't pulling. No, I could hear it like. Yeah, what so was that? Uh, I'll just take it home now. And yeah. Take that. Tell him. Quiet on set. <laughs> Ready? Hey, Jake from Full Access UTV. Um, another thing I want to talk about today, don't get out much, don't get to go wheeling. We work a lot. Um, thank you, by the way. But for my birthday, we were able to go out and uh, my wish was to go out on a ride in the KRXs and just uh, have a good time. And boy, did we. Um, we had an amazing time. We had a bunch of our KRX family with us. We had a bunch of friends with Polaris's. Um, whiplash, just saying whiplash but anyways one of the things we did was we went out to moon rocks and uh, we were doing a bunch of messing around that particular day i brought the obor krx um just because it had a heater and it was pretty cold out my wife was with me so um i brought the one with the heater uh, as we were messing around out there just doing a bunch of crawling and messing with some lines and i attempted to try a, a pretty good shoot wall and um something happened to the car so i was like okay what was that and um I heard something and didn't think much of, uh, of it, and then I went and did it again. And as the driver, I could see my left front tire. And I saw the tire stop, and then I heard what I thought was like a grind, and I was like, oh no, you know, I, I, I hope I didn't blow up the front diff or something. Um, anyways, I backed up and decided, all right, we'll save her for another day and come back. Um, the interesting to stay is, I usually don't wheel the Obar KRX that way, and it's not quite as set up as my green one is. Um, one big significant difference between the two was the G-Boost belt. I didn't realize it until I got back and Chris had sent me the footage, the GoPro footage of me trying to do that, that hill. And what was actually going on, I was, I, and to everybody who watches it, they think it's the tire squealing. And it's not the tire squealing. The tires stop because the belt slips. The belt starts slipping in the KRX. Now, I've heard some people talk about this, and I've even said in a video before. I saw it for the first time ever. Ryan did it in Coos Bay when he launched and took off with his paddle tires. And I heard it, and we knew what it was. He put in this belt. He hasn't had any problems. But that's a story for him. I haven't driven that car or anything else. All I know is... I put in this belt, I know they're softer, they don't wear out the sheaves as much, but um, the proof's in the pudding. So it's one thing when you watch a video and it's alarming to you of what you saw. So I showed Chris what I saw and sent, you know, we go back and forth and he was like, wow. But it shows that these belts are holding that much more and I was pretty surprised by it. So, I mean, I've been a believer in the G-Boost because I knew it was a little softer and it's not gonna hurt the sheaves. Um, I've heard no long-term bad things about these whatsoever. And I could tell you that after just running with, and that belt, by the way, in the Obar KRX probably had uh, 200 miles on it. So it was, it, was, it was not old, it was not worn out, it was not thin, it wasn't anything. It was just a factory hard rubber. A little bit softer rubber, grabs those sheaths better, and it didn't slip. So in my green one, I've never heard that. And I do much, much, much harder things than the green one. And I've never heard a squeal. So it was alarming to me. So anyways, I thought I'd share what I found out on uh, my fun birthday trip and, uh, and share it with you guys. So um, if you guys need a G-Boost belt, we got them. Um, I'm sure your, your, your sheave will thank you for it. But trust me, if you guys are hearing any weird noises or squealing, um, it's definitely that belt which surprised me. But uh, Jake from Full Access UTV, hey, please click that like and subscribe button right there. Me and my family appreciate it, and thanks for watching.
You got a big rock right here. My underhook? Yeah, it, it's preventing your tire from going back. There you go. It, I mean, you're going to have to really pop it to get over it. There we go. Two of that. There you go. There you go. There you go. Kawasaki. That was weird. The front diff wasn't pulling. No, I could hear it like. Yeah, what so was that? Uh, 